When I was seven, all of my friends and I were obsessed with this game called Club Penguin. So in Club Penguin, you play as one of the penguins on the screen, and there's this entire world you can explore. You can go into shops, you can earn coins, and you can buy things. And you can play mini games with your friends. So some of the people who played Club Penguin would make websites about it, and they'd write about the new features that were coming out, and they would write, about, and they'd write guides on how to play some of the games in Club Penguin. So naturally, one day, my friends and I, at, uh, and this is a, uh, Club Penguin 98 was my favorite blog. So this is a picture of that. So one day at lunch, my friends and I, we were talking about Club Penguin, and we decided, you know what? We want to build a website too. And we want to write about all the new features in Club Penguin. So that night, I went home, I went on Google, and I typed in how to build a website. I spent a couple hours working through a tutorial, and it wasn't much, but I was incredibly proud of what I built, and it looked pretty similar to this. <laughs> it's really, really basic, just some text. But over the next couple months, every single week, my friends and I, we would get together, and we would spend time writing about all the new features, we'd write guides on how to play parts of the game, and it was this amazing experience. Nobody ever went to our website, but it was something we built, and it was something that we were really proud of. So fast forward a couple years, now I'm 12, and I have a new obsession, and I'm obsessed with this game called Grawl. So Grawl is pretty similar to Club Penguin. You're one of the explorers on the screen. There's this entire world you can explore. You can chat with people. There's places for you to hang out. You can go inside of buildings, save up your currency, and buy things, and uh, pick up jars and do all sorts of really exciting things. So I've been playing Grawl for a couple months, and I'd spent a lot of time talking with other people who played the game, too. And one day, one of the creators of the game came up to me, and they said, hey, Lord of Pi 13, that was my username, <laughs> we like what you're doing with the community, and we'd like to invite you to help build the game with us. And I was like, oh my god, this is the best day of my life. I, I love Grawl. I prioritized it over school, over sleep, sometimes over eating, and now I could build the game, too? So, Needless to say, I said yes, and I immediately logged on, and I couldn't wait to get started building the game. A couple months went by. I'd been working on small features in the game. I fixed little things that other people had broken. I wrote a little bit of code here and there. And again, one of the creators of the game came to me. They said again, Lord of Pi 13, we like what you've been doing these past couple months, and we want to invite you to build a town with one other person. This town, it'll be themed after Halloween, and other than that, you can do whatever you want. I was ecstatic. I mean, I, I'd been working on Grawl, I'd been fixing small things here and there, but now I would have complete creative freedom over whatever I want in this town. So this is a picture of the world of Grawl, a map, and that arrow points to Deadwood, which is a town that I worked on. So this is Deadwood. Deadwood, as I mentioned, is Halloween-themed, so we had these hollow trunks, we had bats, we had spider webs, we had a cemetery you could go to, we had a crypt, and we had a tower that you could capture. I worked with the other person, his name was Azriel. I never knew his real name, and for, for about a month, and every day after school, I would pour all of my energy into Deadwood. And after that month went by, we launched the game, uh, we launched the, the town, and thousands of people came into it. So many that the game on my phone crashed, and when I went back onto it, I felt this amazing sense of accomplishment because for the first time in my life, I felt like I had an audience for what I had built. And what I began to realize after, after working on Deadwood was coding wasn't just something I wanted to do in my free time outside of school. This is something I wanted to do in school as well. So I looked into my options. I went online and I looked to see if my high school had any computer science classes or any coding classes. They didn't. So I looked at other high schools in my area, and I started to find some coding classes. But what I found was that the textbooks looked like this. And I mean, I was a bit disappointed. I, I, I fell in love with coding because I could build things for Club Penguin. I could build things for Grawl. And I know, don't judge a book by its cover, but she isn't on a computer. And I wanted to be on a computer when I write code. So I decided to dig a bit deeper because, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. And what I, I started reading the final exams from some of these courses to see what, I, what I'd be tested on at the end of the year. 
This question is taken from the 2012 final exam for AP Computer Science, which is the most, which is the most popular coding class in the United States. Last year, it was taught at over 2,000 high schools, and over 20,000 high school students took the course. So the question says, write a static method, array sum, that calculates and returns the sum of the entries in a specified one-dimensional array. The following example shows an array, ARR1, and the value returned by a call to array sum. All this is really saying is write a program that adds these numbers and gives you 16. And for me, I mean, coding was this thing where I could be creative, and I could build whatever I want, and I felt like this kind of reminded me of my math class, where there was one right answer. I wanted to build a website in only a few hours about Club Penguin, not be forced into answering these questions that forced me into a single solution and a single answer. And what I began to realize was the reason why coding was so captivating to me was because coding turned into a form of self-expression for me. And the reason why I picked up, uh, the reason why I fell in love with coding so quickly was because for the first time in my life, after I built that Club Penguin website, I felt like I could express myself. And what I started to realize would co was that code had turned into my canvas. And that question was not my canvas. Right now, there's this worldwide conversation on how to teach every person in the world to code. Barack Obama, earlier this year, said everybody's got to learn how to code early, encouraging schools all across the United States and the world to implement coding classes. The problem is that these coding classes are modeled to teach you, at the end of the year, how to solve this problem. When really, I want to build Grawl. I want to get things out there, and I want thousands of people to use what I build. This is a picture of my friend Max. Max, no, don't tell him this, but Max is obsessed with video games. He loves them so much that when he started coding his last year of high school, the first project he worked on was a store that, that sold video games. It was called Sheeb Sales, and here's a picture of it. He spent so much time working on Sheeb Sales that he didn't go to any classes the last two weeks of high school. Instead, he stayed home and he spent all day working on Sheeb Sales so he could get it online and share it with people. Similarly, this is a picture of my friend Selena. Selena loves going to these events called hackathons. Hackathons are kind of like festivals, but for coding. There are these 24 to 48 hour long events where there's very little sleep involved and lots of coding. She goes to a hackathon almost every single weekend. And to do this, she stays up until 3 a.m. almost every school night finishing her homework so she can go to the hackathon and spend the entire time coding. What I'm getting to with all of this is I believe if we, if, we follow, if we continue down the path we're currently on, yes, I think we'll be able to teach every young person how to code. But I also think we're going to be teaching them that coding is something that's learned through memorization. And coding is something where there's only one right answer. And to Max and to Selena and myself, coding is about building what, you, what we wanted to build. And to us, fundamentally, it was a form of self-expression. Max expressed himself through sheep cells. Selena does this every week in a hackathons. And for me, I did this through my Club Penguin website and Grawl. So my idea is to change the question in coding classes from how do we solve this, how do we get the right answer to this problem to what do you want to build today? Thank you. <laughs>